What's going on boys and girls, Extreme Doug 83 here, and I would like to show you my redstone creation that I made, and it is a day counter, oh boy. You guys might be wondering how it works, well I will be showing you how it works, how it works basically, how it works technically, and what's behind this calendar thing here. It might not look much like a calendar, but this tells you how many days you've been in Minecraft, um, from 1 to 99. Now I can make it longer, I can make it bigger, if you guys really really want me to, I will do that. I may actually make a day, like a, a calendar for 2014, I'm not too sure yet. Matters how much time I have <laughs> on my hands, which sometimes isn't a lot. So, let's get started here, I got my day sensor here, this might not look like a day sensor, this is actually a day sensor in my hand, but right here, I made it so it goes day and night, instead of having to flick my wall going, copy, paste, day, and then type in night, and so the first first night and day, I thought I would change it with a uh, day sensor, and then the rest will be with this lever. So as you can see, magically something goes across there, which changes this to day. So it's now one day. This is your first day you're in. Then go time set, not night, time set 14,000. I found out that it doesn't shut off unless it's over like 12 or 13,000. Uh, over 13, because I did times at night, and it takes a little bit longer for that day sensor to go out. So now it is night time and the sensor is out and nothing changes well let's go time set day and watch what happens time set day some magical thing over there number two so let's take that now not not two of them let's take them away so now we can use this l sensor lever thingy that i built oh, i've also got a reset button which i will use when i get to sing single number so we're gonna go one one more day goes by it's gonna be three it's gonna be four then it's going to be 5, then 6, then 7. Now I'm just going to show you up to number 10, and then I'm going to speed it up. Uh, just because I want you to see all the numbers that are all legit. It's going to be really quick though, because um, I'm really going to speed it up, and it's going to be really funny. So now this goes to 10. So now we've been in 10. Now I'm going to go through all the numbers later, but let's show the basics here right now. And just so you guys think it doesn't oopsie my button there doesn't go any higher. We're just gonna quickly show that it can go higher. So it goes like to fifteen and stuff. So I'll show you all the numbers later. Um but let's get to how it technically works because it does go a lot. So here we have our single day counter our counter, not a day counter, this is the actual thing that counts. I did not make this design myself. But this here I did that cuts out every single other one. So uh, what I mean by that is that it's not right now at, what is it at, 16? So this is this is the first digit number, that's the second digit number, right? And we've got this magical number here that goes to this impulse, and you guys ready to see the actual thing? It goes to this thing behind. Now this is just like my scoreboard, but more complex, and two of them right beside each other. So this is one digit here. This is the other digit. It's a bit, but you know, it's a, it's a calendar. And this is what it would kind of be like in a, I think electrical, I'm not 100% sure. So these are like wires sending it each to one right here. And each, each one of these is a number. So right here, this is number six. And how I had to build this is because what would happen is this would be lit up, this would be lit up, this would be lit up, this would be this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. So what I had to build though onto this counter thing, which is a small counter that doesn't do any of this, uh, I had to actually find a way out to, to uh, cut out the power of the last number. So all I did was I send a pulse up to here, send a piston this way that shuts it off easily like this. Totally easy to make, not too long. Gave me a headache how to make it myself because I did create this part myself. And all you got to do then is put a repeater here. Again, it may be downloadable, I'm not too sure. But then let's move on to how the counter works. As I got a button here, I'm actually going to go shut this off so that this is nighttime pretending. Here we go, night. And we got night here. So then we got this lever here that's kind of like day and night. So what actually happens is it goes nighttime, nothing happens. And um, this is just a quick little simple impulse that I created myself that is just so dang simple to make. I don't know why anyone has made it like this. All you do is run a, a redstone this way. So simple. 
go up redstone and then put a repeater in a piston in a block and it just quickly sends an impulse that's so quick and so small right here that it makes this work and it sends an impulse that shoots over here that then goes up this which this torch has to be powered and sends impulse here and the way this keeps up is that this is kind of interesting I send an impulse here which pulls up all these pistons which when this piston is up and has a repeater power going to it then it will work in a way that is kind of interesting that keeps it up so when this is powered this will stay up so when all these are gone here these are all powered right up to here and, and except for this one now this one once this gets this buzz this has this always up so that there's always redstone power this so it's just like wire this is kind of complicated redstone wire going through all this which then here when it stops it is still going and nothing can get past but right through here as soon as the piston sensor like the quick impulse goes to here sends the sand up the sand gets powered and then it starts powering the piston below which then this gets powered below and above and side and which powers this that's a lot to handle uh that's just how this whole thing works now this may look simple but it's not so that's how this sem impulse sends to here so let's choose a different number so let's go let's make 22 and by the way there is a reset button i have forgot to press that uh sorry i will be pressing that soon so now it's at we go oh forgot to s shut off this i have to sh i actually can do it here here we go oh now i have both levers on oops okay hold on let's just go send this off and normally you'll only have one i just made it easier for you guys to see so i'm gonna flip it once flip it twice flip it a bunch of times but so what this is actually only doing is it's sending a quick impulse that see as you can see it shuts off this when it shuts this down so that no wire can get in when this is on so like you could never get more than a sim single little impulse so now it's at 25 and we have the 25 and it's, this is number five so it sends impulse here sends one up here goes up all this glowstone and sends these to these different wires now these wires are all wired up to one of these three uh, lights which then makes it an eight digit number which is, is actually why this is used in scoreboards and calendars things like baseball things in real life so that makes a number so each one of these has to be wired correctly and how I made this wired is so that it sends an impulse all the way to there, which goes down this wire, and so that none of these other ones can be touched or affected. I have made it so that this redstone repeater only pushes out, so it only t puts an output, it does not input anything, so it cannot destroy any other wire. So only the wire, the whole wire can be um, uh, powered from where this is all the way to here and it will not affect this because it only puts an output not an input this inputs the information which then sends the light this way again complicated I know um, but this is how this is the technical part you know uh, let's make this basic light travels through here turns one number on number shoots light to light light goes down wire wire makes thing light up yeah so and how this actually gets the two digit is this uh, afterwards once this is all the way to nine this goes all the way here resets this number because as soon as this is powered this whole thing resets as I'm gonna reset it right now and this thing whole resets and that's where this thing comes into play that thing resets and this will send an impulse all the way to here when we press the number so you need that powered so as soon as that's not powered it resets it itself for this one and it will keep going once it's so say it let's go to 10 so right now it's at around here we go one more and here we go and it resets itself so this goes to zero which then this sends an impulse all the way through here 
all the way to here, which then here we go with there another one all the way that was over there, so this, which sends a quick impulse. Now this does it every time this goes from zero to nine. So every time it gets to nine, um, once it gets to nine, then it goes to ten. So it's it shoots off the number once it gets to ten. So just one before nine, shoots off the pulse, resets this number, so this goes to zero, and this sends the line all the way to here, which then then does the exact same thing as that but only um, every 10 times, not every once. So basically all I'm doing is building this whole thing over there again, and then these are just the same numbers. This is actually backwards though, because I exactly created it the exact same way. So this is now zero, this is one, this is two, this is three, this is four, this is five, this is six, six is seven, eight, nine. And this is how it works. So uh, all of this is my own design. The only thing out of this whole thing that isn't is of course the actual numbers. These no the eight-digit number was made from baseball scoreboards first, so I kind of took that idea, but not Minecrafty like, and that's used for standard everything. It was a joke kind of, and this little counter here was already made, but I upgraded it so that it would work for my scoreboard and slash calendar. Well, guys, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comment section below. Uh, I'm going to quickly. Uh, play some music and show you all the numbers that they work and let's just press that reset button quickly which it will reset them both to zero that does this weird thing just because the way it works so guys thanks for watching don't forget to smash that like button with your mouse and subscribe to join the extreme team and see more crazy uh, redstone tutorials see my mini games see survival uh, let's plays and all fun random crazy stuff like uh, I'm gonna be doing a video where I'm putting ice down my pants and recording and playing hunger games uh, I hate my viewers sometimes thanks for watching guys I'm gonna play some music now and just keep pressing this button and speeding it up and bye